Hello and happy Google Plus Friday, everybody. I took a few minutes out of my time here. I'm actually shooting some videos. You can see behind me, I built a little studio in the basement of my office. Uh, I'm shooting some videos for our insurance agency today, some marketing videos, and I want to take a quick second here and talk to you about Google Plus Analytics. <laughs> Today's Google Friday video, we're going to talk about Google Plus Analytics and three quick tools that I think will help you understand better what's going on with your Google Plus profile and how you, uh, some adjustments you can make it and things you can look to, uh, to better serve that presence. Uh, the first is the actual dashboard that Google Plus has created for business pages. So if you go to your business page, you may see in the little pullout that comes in from uh, the left hand side that there's a new tab called dashboard, which is actually going to give you a nice set of insights. It's not necessarily robust, but it will give you a feeling for what posts are being viewed, shared, commented on, and plus one and you can use that information to better understand what type of content your audience may be looking for and where people actually are coming from. Like I said, it's not a robust tool, uh, but it is valuable and does have some good information. The next tool is actually a third party tool called Circle Count and you can get there. Uh, CircleCount.com takes you there and you log in with your Google Plus profile and it actually will look at uh, how many followers you have, what your growth curve has been over time, and uh, what type of engagement you've been getting as well. So Circle Count is a great tool. In addition to some of the basic metrics like how many followers and how much engagement, you're also going to get some, some interesting additional analytical information such as where in the world are your Google Plus followers located. You can also enter in the long 22 digit identification number for any community, add that to circle count and it will track analytics for communities as well so you can find out what's actually happening inside communities that you may own or manage. Here's a quick screenshot of my uh, follower growth on Google Plus. As you can see for a brief period of time I was actually added to the hashtag SUL suggested user list for uh, a couple different topics and I gained about a thousand followers in a little less than a week uh, that you know as Google Plus giveth it also taketh away and uh, I have since been removed from the suggested user list for whatever reason I'm not exactly sure and my follower account has dropped back into uh, what it was beforehand. What I can tell you from using circle count and diving deeper into my analytics on Google Plus is that for that period of time uh, leading up to when I was added to the suggested user list, I had produced two podcasts interviewing Mark Traphagen and Jesse Wadillo and had written two or three posts and a ton of additional content inside of Google Plus about actually using the tool. So uh, I think it was that activity talking about Google Plus and being engaged in a lot of different conversations having to do with how Google Plus works that ultimately got me added to that list. Not necessarily a repeatable process or something I would encourage you to do if you're not interested in the tool. I'm just very interested in Google Plus, which is why I do Google Plus Friday. And just like with the Google Plus uh, dashboard for pages, Circle Count is going to allow you to sort your posts by comments, reshares, plus ones, and that gives you the ability to find out what type of content actually works with your audience today. Then you can take that information and either start to build separate veins that you may think support that or try to uh, continue to create more, deeper, richer content inside whatever topic seems to be working best for you. Uh, that's how I would use these Google Plus Analytics tools. There is a third tool that some people use called G Plus Data. So you go to gplusdata.com and that has some good visual representations of the same type of information you're going to get on Circle Count. So I find Circle Count to be a much more robust tool as far as a, a third party tool for, for tracking Google Plus Analytics. Really mine into um, where people are, why they're coming to your content. You can find out who's resharing your information. So are there uh, different influencers who are actually sharing your information and uh, that may spur you to want to connect deeper with them and build deeper relationships because they're showing interest in you. I highly encourage you to use both the Google Plus page dashboard that Google Plus has given us and also the third party tool circle count using that to understand what is going on with your Google Plus presence, what's working, what's not, 
and using that information to help drive your content creation, where you're spending your time inside of Google Plus moving forward. Uh, this has been Google Plus Friday. Every Friday I'm going to come out with whatever I learned during the week and deliver it to you so that you plusers can have a little better experience using the Google Plus platform and be more successful in that space. If you found value in this video, if you think that Google Plus Friday is a tool that can help you, I encourage you to connect with me in two places. One right here on YouTube where I create these Google Plus Friday videos and post them every single Friday for you. The other place is Google Plus, obviously, if we're not connected there yet, you can do so. You see the boxes to my right and to my left where you can connect with me very easy. If you have questions, comments, looking for guidance on Google Plus, I encourage you to connect with me there, ask me those questions. I'm happy to help. Or if you have suggestions about a future Google Plus Friday video, uh, just let me know and I'm happy to consider that and get that information out to you as quickly as I can. So uh, with that, I look forward to next Friday when we attack another topic inside of Google+. Happy Google Plus Friday, everyone.